Hey, what's going on guys? Alex, the Asian truck driver. Uh, for today's video, I just want to give you a, a concept. I like cars. I bought my dream car. So I just want to show you how you can be a truck driver, buy your dream car, and not have to pay for it. So again, this is something that you can do. It's something that it's the way I do it just because, you know, why not when I'm not using my car, I, uh, I rent it out. So that's what I do. So right now, actually, we're going to go and we're going to go meet the guy at my parents' house because I just feel more comfortable, you know, using that location because it's just closer to the freeway and it makes it easy access for the customer and for myself. So we're going to go drive right now and check that out. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, man. Doing well, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, like I was telling everybody on the channel, I was going to uh, pick up the car. Um, I'm renting it out. A lot of times, people on YouTube, they talk a lot of bullshit. They talk about how you could do something and how you could make money without putting nothing into it. So, on this video, I'm telling people, hey, you could buy your dream car. You could rent it out. And that could help supplement or pay almost for the car that you're driving for the month. So again, this is not a promotion for Turo, car share, nothing like that. I'm just doing this for you guys, man. I just want to put this concept in everybody's mind. You know what I mean? So um, what's your name, sir? My name's Michael, my last name is Skeen. You guys don't know, but this guy's the next professional golfer right here, man. I this... go from that to that. That's right. So, how much did it uh, cost to uh, rent it out for the day? Uh, I think it was like two twenty-five or something like that. Yep. That's so, a, yeah, two twenty-five. This guy must have money because he, he don't even know. No, it was it was two fifty a day. You know, but for him, it felt like two twenty-five. <laughs> and I mean, what what was your experience as uh, just a person renting it? You know, um, funny story is my first car was a nineteen seventy-four Stingray. Right? And then through the years, you know, Marine Corps, all that kind of stuff, and working and working and working. You get away from all the stuff you really want, decided to try it again. And uh, again, like I said, I'm driving that. But hey, hey, that's everybody drives one of those, man. Yeah, Nothing wrong with that. Drive, drive. But uh, the experience with this car, man, just it, it motivates you just to sit in it and drive it around. You know, and sometimes you need that. So I, I was telling my girlfriend she was driving with me, like, I need to be in this car right now. So it gives you that motivation to keep pushing and doing something else. That's but awesome, man. What you really want to do. And and so, what are your thoughts about buying your car, renting it out? Is it crazy? Uh, what, people call me crazy for doing it. What are your thoughts? It, it, you know, it makes sense as long as you know the insurance part's covered. I mean, you really don't have anything to worry about. I mean, if it's going to make that kind of money, like I said, I paid what, two fifty to one thousand. Basically, you paid half. Okay, you paid half of what my payment would be if the car wasn't paid off, right? So for anyone that goes out and buys this car for sixty, seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars, your payments are gonna be about a thousand bucks. So if he paid two fifty, how many days did you rent it for? I, three. I think it was like a seven hundred dollar bill. So, so like that's three quarters of the bill. So three, three quarters of the bill. And so this is straight up, I mean legit. The man just I'm telling him right now, now with the car sharing in Turo, they take a percentage and that's how they pay. Of course I do thirty five percent. And I'm being real with you. And why do I do 35%? Because I paid $80,000 for this car. <laughs> so they take 35%, but what they do is they fully cover my car up to a million dollars. Now, I'm not sponsored by these people, but what I am gonna say is that 35% from the 700 paid me legitly about $485. That's still almost, he rented it for three days. He basically paid three, uh, he basically for the three days paid half of my payment for the month. And I'm telling this straight on YouTube right now, and I'm telling Michael this, that he just paid half for my car for the month, and are you upset at me that you just paid half? Not at all. I, I enjoyed it, man. Uh, it was worth every penny of it, it really was. See, so I'm telling you guys, you could buy something that you love. I'm not telling you guys to go buy the damn Ferrari, but if you love the Camaro, you love the Mustang, you love a Corvette, this might be a little bit more high-end, you could buy it, rent it out, enjoy your car, and pay the same payments as you would for your normal car, but get to drive one of these. Now it's just a concept. I don't basically do that because I just rent it here and there, but I'm just trying to teach you guys something. So 
hey thanks so much guys thank you man. appreciate it man so i'm letting you guys know um the website is called uh, turo.com they have one called car share i mean put it this way imagine uh how you rent out your house a lot of people might know the website airbnb so the concept with that is when you're not using your house or you're not using your apartment you can rent out your um uh your your spot so with this you can rent out your car now uh i believe you can rent out a car up to like a tesla or audi r8 so nothing over you know you know no ferraris and nothing like that but for a lot of guys you know audi r8 or something like that might be their dream car already so i didn't get the car specifically to just rent it out but i thought to myself while i'm not using it you know why not so all i have to say to you is uh you can go out there you can go and buy something but before you buy it see if it makes you money you know you know i don't care what it is you know what i mean but everything you own if you can make some sort of profit on it or a potential profit uh, it's worth buying so just uh food for thought uh i appreciate you guys uh, i will talk to you guys soon uh, please like and subscribe like always Setting the sun up, bro, just